I talk and I talk, but guess what? I back it up. They know who's running the game, so any chance they get, they mention my name. The whole roster wants a piece. And the whole roster will get a piece. Introducing the notorious one! division world champion i'm gonna go and i'm gonna get them two belts take out two divisions if anyone can do it it's me you're blessed that i chose you you're blessed that i chose to whoop your ass next Most people believe Conor McGregor's next fight will be in defense of his lightweight title, but against whom? That's the question. He's got 10 wins in a row. He's the obvious choice for the next challenge. Conor McGregor versus Tony Ferguson. That's the most relevant. Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson. Let's unify these belts and give the fans the fight they want to see. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. He's an extremely well-rounded mixed martial artist. Fantastic stand-up, great wrestler, and very slick on the ground. He's worked hard to have world-class skills at every aspect of the sport, and there are very few, if any, holes in his game. So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, let's start with the kicking technique, because it is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph a thing, and I think what really jumps out of the film room for me is his ability to get his foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. A lot of guys just don't even see it coming, and he doesn't discriminate. He'll attack that lead leg. He'll go to the body. Beautiful head kick upstairs as well. The technique is really what sets up everything to this guy's game, and his opponent certainly weary of what's coming back with those kicks tonight. Stefan Struve is a towering, almost seven foot tall monster with great striking and beautiful submission technique. He uses his height well on the feet and on the ground, and when he wraps one of those long arms around your neck, it's like a python. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He's at six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. The Night Man! And now we can visit his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 11 losses. Standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body on a beam of work, the Netherlands, Stefan Skyscraper! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready. Ready. So and fun. here we go. Thank you. 
improved shot is blocked. Wow! Misses a huge hook to the head. While you're playing with fire there, he left the body wide open there, and he has shown an increased vulnerability to that strike, Joe, by leaning in, almost moving into the strike to set up his own offense. We'll see if he lowers that guard, lowers those elbows to prevent further damage. Nice knee. How about that chin? Just misses with the straight right. He faints with the kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. Hit him with the jab. Oh, effective use of the jab here, Joe. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Hit him That's hard with that shot hook. is true. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. That's a big hook. Struve lands a jab there. No, oh, the left leg goes high. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Again with that left kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. One minute to go. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Oh, that was a big left hand he connected with. Final seconds of round one. Round two winding down. Take a seat. Deep breath in. Relax. Take a drink of water. And listen, we want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. Let's take a look at it again here. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Very impressive striking going on in that round. Brittany Palmer here doing her thing as usual. Okay, ready? You ready? Round two is underway. Starting off this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Oh, huge block! Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Nice leg kick. Man, he has been absolutely masterful on the feet this evening, and everything has worked off of that patented jab. He has had it in his opponent's face all night long, and he's used it to set up his other combinations. Expertly done on the feet tonight. Exactly. Finds his range with the jab. Hand speed, man. Struve gets hit by that leg kick. Straight right, he misses. That one hurt. 
Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Faints with the punch. The cut on his face is getting nasty. Almost hits him with that left hook. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Able to check that kick as well. Great exchanges. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Unable to connect with the right. How about that chin? Under a minute now to go. That Powerful is good. Cut. And now starting to snap off that jab. Lands flush with the left hand. 20 seconds to go round two. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Ten We're minutes like in the books. Stop, stop. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. Here's a powerful leg kick. Perfectly placed strike here. Lands on target. Some real clean striking on display in that round. Okay. Ariane Celeste in the building. Nice round, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's so here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. So far, phenomenal performance that we're so privileged to be able to watch. Oh, oh that uppercut. That's that big court. uppercut. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Nice punch by Stroop. Big oh, that power in that hook. Clean, Joe. He hurt him with that hook. Stroop gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. And again, Joe, he's showing a vulnerability to that jab, leaning right into his opponent's striking range and leaving his head wide open to absorb damage. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Huge punches oh. landed by both men. Oh, big shot! He's got to be careful here. Oh, very nice. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Wow. Oh, he caught a big right hand. Oh! So clock starting to become a oh, here. Huge right hand! He's hurt here. Big, big body shot, shot to the body. on his opponent here, Joe. A lot lighter on his feet these last couple rounds of this fight. Connects with the punch there. 
And he's looking for that left. Oh, blocks that kick to the body, Joe. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Strew moves forward with a nice kick. Tagged him. 45 seconds remain in the round. Good defense there. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Nice shot. Try to establish that jab. So this one will go to a decision. Should be a clear winner here tonight. He was the dominant fighter, really, from the opening horn to the closing one. We await the judges' scorecards, but he should get his hand raised here tonight. Round three, this thunderous head kick finds its way through the guard. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. We're going to win her by unanimous decision, Stefan So there he is, your winner by way of decision. And Joe, I think he took his game to that requisite next level here tonight. He had a lot more eyeballs on him in this spot tonight, and I thought he really shined. You saw the matchmakers seemed happy with the performance.